Are you fond of eating mushrooms? A mushroom appears to look like a plant, but it isn't a plant. Surprisingly, mushroom bodies are closer to those of animals, but a mushroom is not an animal either. It's a fungus. A mushroom or sometimes called a toadstool is the fleshy, spore-bearing fruiting body of a fungus, typically produced above ground, on soil, or on its food source. Edible mushrooms have been a part of home cooking for thousands of years. There are countless varieties. The most common ones can be bought at groceries, but some exotic ones can only be found in special shops, or through exploring the wilderness or certain geographical locations. You probably know that some mushrooms are not edible. Some of them are actually dangerous to eat because they are poisonous. They are so poisonous that they can kill humans within 48 hours after consumption. When you eat poisonous mushrooms, you may experience three things. Number one is hallucinations. Number two is gastrointestinal illness. And number three is liver failure and death. Toxins can fatally harm the liver and kidneys and you may die within 48 hours. Because of these risks, it is recommended that you only eat mushrooms you've bought from the supermarket or from a trusted source. But, what if you are in a wild camping trip? And you accidentally saw a mushroom? Or, if you are in a survival scenario in the woods? And a mushroom becomes an option for food. In this case, we will tell you tips on how to possibly identify edible mushrooms from poisonous ones. Is it possible? The simple answer to this is yes, but can be difficult. Identifying a mushroom if it is a poisonous or not can be tricky. You can't really tell the difference without identifying the individual mushroom you have found. Identifying mushrooms requires a basic understanding of their physical structure. Most are basidiomycetes and gilt. Their spores, called basidiospores, are produced on the gills and fall in a fine rain of powder from under the caps as a result. Identification is not always easy. Mycologists have catalogued approximately 14,000 different mushroom species worldwide and classified them into a number of distinct genera. There are over 70 species of poisonous mushrooms. Each genus typically includes edible and inedible species, and many of these look similar. Yes. You heard it right, many poisonous and edible types of mushrooms are look-alikes. This is another reason why identifying a mushroom becomes more difficult. For example, meadow mushrooms are edible but they have a poisonous look-alike called destroying angel mushrooms. They are among the most toxic. Chanterelles also have a poisonous look-alike, the jack-o'-lantern or false chanterelle. If you come across a mushroom, a few defining characteristics can help you determine the possibility of it being poisonous. These aren't definitive in that many edible species also display these characteristics, but if you notice them, they are a good indication that you should leave the mushroom alone. Remember, you might miss out on a delicious treat, but more important, you won't die. And make no mistake, death is a real possibility. Some 60% of cases involving Ammonita and other species result in death. The tips are as follows. Number 1, mushrooms with white gills are often poisonous. So are those with a ring around the stem. The presence of a bulbous cup or sac around the base. This rounded cup is called the vulva and is another remnant of the universal veil. Because the vulva is often underground, it's important to dig around the base of a mushroom to look for it. Number 2, mushrooms with a red color on the cap or stem are also either poisonous or strongly hallucinogenic. The most notorious red-colored mushroom is Ammonita muscaria, which has been consumed for thousands of years to produce visions. In large doses, even this magic mushroom can be lethal. Other Ammonita species also have this coloration, and they are far less benign. Number 3, a parasol or umbrella-shaped cap. Each of these pictures is a good example of how an ammonita cap is shaped, convex like a wide, upside-down letter U. You must also be careful on some misinformations around mushrooms. We may hear myths like mushrooms growing on wood are safe. This is completely false. Not all of them are, and some are deadly, like the funeral bell. There is also a myth that says, 
If you see other animals eating them, they are okay. This rule is not true in some cases, some animals can eat poisonous fungi with no ill effects. Identifying the mushroom is the key. If you feel confident enough to handle the mushroom, use gloves if available and examine the gills, check the stem for rings and look for a vulva. You might also cut off a small piece and smell it. Poisonous mushrooms often have an unpleasant, acidic smell. You can also get information by cutting off the stem and placing the cap on a piece of paper gill side down for a few hours to get a spore print. A white spore print is a telltale sign of an Ammonita species. It is also important to take note where you found the mushroom. Where is the mushroom growing? For example, the chicken mushrooms are usually safe, but they have the potential to make you sick if they are growing on the very poisonous yew tree, and it is often said that the fungus will absorb the toxic alkaloids. Different people have different body reactions after consuming it. There are reports of severe gastric upsets and some doesn't. Finally, for our final recommendations, don't consume any wild mushrooms unless you are 100% sure of what they are or only if you are an experienced mycologist. This is by far the most important rule. Some experts even say, that they still sometimes encounter mushrooms they can't 100% identify. If you're confident the mushrooms you picked are edible, always cook them well. Many health experts recommend cooking mushrooms to destroy toxins found in its raw form. Cooking also makes mushrooms softer and more digestible, so you could easily absorb its nutrients such as proteins, vitamins B and C, and some minerals. Another precaution. When eating a wild mushroom for the first time, eat a small amount of the cooked mushroom to see if you have an allergic reaction to it. A mushroom guide is a must for anyone interested in foraging for mushrooms. Look for guides that includes detailed pictures of poisonous mushrooms. If you're not sure, leave the mushroom alone. Better be safe than sorry. Thank you for watching. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like and share it to your friends. Subscribe for more travel tips. See you on our next video.